looking forward to the, the time that you've gone through an SB2 process and maybe you've decided that you want to change the date for your SB2 town meeting from March to April or May, um, the, the related statute to RSA 4013, 4014 permits the town to adopt an April or May town meeting date. And it requires a series of steps uh, for the selectmen to propose it or to have it proposed by petition requires a public hearing before um, it will be voted on. Uh, it, the statute, as indicated here, gives you the exact language of how you would present it to the voters. It has to be approved by simple majority, and the change that would be adopted would only apply to the next town meeting. And I think where we see most of the April or May town meetings are those municipalities that have a June 30th year end, so that they're actually um, voting the appropriations in April or May for their fiscal year that's going to begin on July 1st. I, I don't think we see many or really any that have a calendar year, fiscal year, where they're going to the April or May uh, meeting. I think there's a, it's also my experience that um, this type of a change in a town that has an SB2 form of government, uh, th this, this particular section of the statute allows also some uh, congruity in, in, to bring together the meeting dates for both the town and the school district. And many times this will allow both of those agencies to more closely coordinate when they're going to hold their meetings, whether they hold them on the same day or, or within the same time period, April, May, or March. Uh, I think this, this particular statute gives more flexibility for that purpose. Okay. 